<clears throat> hey you guys, it's me Jemaya and excuse the way I'm looking in this video. I know I might look a little confused because I got a new phone and it's kind of hard for me to adjust to the way that I have to look now. So yeah, hopefully the quality is much better and blah blah blah. Anyways, today's video is going to be like a little announcement of what I plan on doing as far as my hair. Um, so lately I've just been thinking like I've been wanting to make a wig and whatever. But I was kind of debating on doing it and not doing it because first of all, I don't know how to braid. I don't know how to sew. And I never, you know did anything as far as putting weave on a cap so i was just contemplating on doing it but i was just like you know what that's the first to everything so i'm gonna just try and i've been looking at youtube videos like constantly constantly for like the past month or so probably even longer than that but yeah i've just been trying to learn how to sew and um, basically construct the wig and whatnot. So, I bought my stuff. Basically, I'm going to use the hair that I already have. And the hair that I'm going to be using is the, well, I'm going to be using this hair after I take it out. And I'm going to be using the remainder of this hair that I have in this bag right here. And as you can see, I titled it Virgin Hair and elite hair fetish hair this is the brand that i have now i have a review on this hair if you want to check it out um i have this hair in my head for two months today makes two months today is april 22nd so yeah i plan on taking this hair out uh i've been noticing that this hair sheds as you see i got a few um few strands of hair and these are two strands but I've been noticing that this hair is shedding as well as tangling and it tangles about from here down and it's really annoying and also it is um just thinning out like I don't know if you guys can tell but I can tell like the hair is thin like I know I only have two no, I have three bundles. I have three bundles of hair in, but it just looks like two bundles or something. It just looks so thin to me. And it looks even thicker because I curled it. But if I just had the hair straight, it would look super, super duper thin. And uh, also, I noticed that this hair isn't holding a curl as well as it normally would. Like, I don't know what happened this time but it isn't holding the curl like it normally does now when i had this hair installed because this is my second time installing this hair in my hair the first time it hold you know it held the curl really really nicely and i'm sorry i'm just looking over here it held the curl really really nicely but I did switch my shampoo and the shampoo that I used was this shampoo. Let me get that. So I did switch my shampoo one time. I used this and this is the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Shampoo right here. This is what it looks like. It's by Organics and I used the conditioner as well. Now when I did use the shampoo, I noticed that this made my hair feel sort of stripped and after that, I just felt like the hair just changed. I don't know if it's just the shampoo, but most likely it probably is. But I don't know so I'm not about to throw the hair away or anything because I can restore the hair all I have to do is seal the webs and then basically boil, boil the hair in conditioner because that's what I did for the rest of the hair now let me show you the hair that I boiled in conditioner as a comparison and I'm just gonna pull out a few tracks so you can see now um the conditioner that I used was the silicone mix as well as um just i had like um a container where i mix conditioners in so basically you can use any conditioner but you must use the silicone mix to really get the good amount of results that i have um well basically just to get a good result because the silicone mix just works all the time 
for me. But anyways, this is what the hair looks like. It is way much better. Way much better. And I know you might see like frizzy pieces. That's just because the hair is staticky. And I have to like, you know, fix that. But as far as the hair texture and everything, it's fine. It's perfect. Perfect. No shedding. No shedding. I'm tugging. No shedding. No shedding. And this is the same exact hair. The only difference I did was, like I said, I boiled it in conditioner. And I also sealed the wefts. And as you can see, the wefts are not looking the best because I did have to tear installed, so some of the hair is like sticking up and all that crazy stuff. But as you can see, I did seal the weft, so the weft is completely sealed from each tip, and it just it just fixed the hair. Like I don't know, this hair just feels brand new. I'm gonna show you another piece that I did. Let me get this one right here. This is another piece that I did. I'm just coming out real quick. And as you see, no hair is coming out. Nothing. But one thing that I did know was about this hair was when I boiled it, the water turned black. So I'm guessing that the hair was dyed or it had something in it that made it turn black. So I don't know what that was about. But like I said, I'm still gonna use the hair. The hair is flowy. Look at that, look at that flow. It's just, it's just perfect now. Now, I also want to tell you guys that I bought a closure. Now, this is my second closure because the first closure that I bought, oh, let me switch these real quick. Um, The first closure that I bought was by Saga, Saga Gold, I believe. And I made a video about that like in the past. And um, that closure was not good at all. Like I had to do a whole bunch of stuff with that closure just to make it look presentable. The hair just scrunched up like this. It was frizzy, it was tangly, it was horrible. And back then I didn't attempt to boil it, so you might be able to fix it, but I, I just threw that away. But anyway, the closure that I bought was this closure right here now i was looking for reviews on this closure and it was only like two people who had this closure but all they did was initial reviews and both of them didn't even put um like a finished result of the closure installed in their head so hopefully i'll be the first person to do so so you guys can um just get an idea of how it's going to look now this is the remy Full lace closure is 100% Remy human hair, and this is the, what the package looks like. Looks just like this, and this <laughs> sorry, this reminds me of the Outre Velvet packaging. So I think this hair has something to do with Outre Velvet, but it just says Remy, so I'm not exactly sure. But if so, I will put the um, information down in the description box as well as probably over here. So. Okay, so I'm just going to read the back to tell you guys some specs about this closure. Okay, so it says Remy Full Lace Closure. Remy Full Lace Closure is a comfortable, breathable lace closure that provides a perfect flawless finish. And with this versatile 12 inch length, this piece is suitable for all hair lengths and styles. It is made of the finest virgin Remy human hair, which was carefully hand tied on a soft, superior lace. It offers a protective and itch free coverage with flexible, natural looking parting. Complete your style with a light, long lasting, exquisite velvet Remy full lace closure. Okay, so um, it also tells you how to apply a closure and what the Remy Human Hair is um, made of, I guess. It says, it is made from only the most healthy, useful human hair using our breakthrough process, which ensures that all hair cuticles face the same direction throughout manufacturing and what's not. So, I don't know if I know this, I mean, told you guys, but this is in a 12 inch and it now the hair comes point. like this it's just you know in a little i don't know what you call that but 
Here's what it <laughs> Here's what it looks like when you take it out of that. It has just a netting over it and I did, you know, look at it and touch it before I uh showed you guys. But anyways, I'm just going to take the netting off so you guys can see the hair. Okay, so I'm going to move that out the way. Now, the hair is really, really soft. It's really, really flowy, as you're going to see. Hair flows beautifully. It looks like virgin hair. Now, I'm confused because it says Remy virgin human hair. So, I'm not sure if it's like Remy hair or if it's, uh, what's that? Virgin hair. <laughs> Sorry. But, I don't know. But, I just really like the way that it looks. I just really love the way that it looks. It looks really, really, really natural. And I really like that about it. And, yeah, I'm just going to get up a close view of the hair. Now, as you might can see, the hair does have a few, like, uh, silver and copper looking colors in it. Like, right here, it's like a strand of uh, some type of silver copper looking I don't know, you might see it now I don't know, but yeah let me just show you the parting, all this is lace up here, let me just take it off of the thing, I really didn't want to but just to show you guys what it looks like let me just take it off okay, so basically this is what it looks like bam, like that and this is how much lace you get. And this is how much lace you get on the side. As well as the other side. And in the back. You can see, you know, this is how much you get. And it's a free part lace closure as well. Now the lace itself is like a natural um, brown color. So it does look nice against the skin unbleached. If you don't want to bleach it. Depending on how dark your scalp is, but I think this might do really nice where my scalp, well, <laughs> it'll look really nice against the color of my scalp. Because I see my scalp isn't really that much lighter than my skin tone itself, so I'm not really going to attempt to bleach or anything. Now, as far as the parting, let me show you guys. I don't want to talk. Uh, like I said, you can part it anywhere. I'm just going to part it down the middle. And as you can see, the um, the hair really isn't that much close together, so you won't have to do that much plucking or anything, because you get like a nice amount of space to see your part. And I just feel like if I just lay it down really nicely and really flat, it will just um, you know, just look really natural instead of having me pluck the hairs out of it. So that's what it looks like, and I'll show you what it looks like kind of laying down. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. I don't know how to let you guys see it that good because how thick it is. So yeah, I might actually real uh put some hair. Okay, so I clipped one side out the way so you guys can see the uh, lace or whatnot. This is what it looks like. And you could just part it all the way back, but the hair just doesn't want to lay down for me. So I can't be sure you guys too good. Um let me just put this receipt under it so you guys can see the lace. Okay, there we go. It looks a little better now. So as you can see, it's lace all down there, everywhere. And that's how the middle part might look, depending on how straight your middle part is. So I didn't part it too good. This is just so you guys can see the space of the parting. And you can just part it anywhere. Diagonal, in the middle across okay so as you guys can see this is the <laughs> this looks funny but as you can see this is the closure on my head and that is the lace against my face and it blends in pretty nicely if I say so myself so that is how it's going to look against my forehead depending on how I cut the lace or whatnot. That's just how it looks. Kinda 
natural. Mm -hmm. Kind of natural. Let's slide my hair a little bit. So yeah, but I don't plan on having a side part even though having it to the side does look sort of cute. Looks really cute. But I don't want to have a side part. I want a little yeah, part. Yeah, I'll have to pluck some hairs because this part is not as um deep as I want it to be. And that's just what it looks like. I mean, the hairline part, it looks really nice though. And I look crazy. So, anyways, I will be taking my hair out, like I said, uh, sometime this week, and then I will be measuring my hair while it's braided with the cap, so I can make sure the cap fits perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna show you the cap that I have. Uh, bought two caps because I wasn't exact. I wasn't exactly sure on what cap to get, so I got this fashion spandex cap by Dream. And then it just looks like that. It's a black basic cap. I think that's the cap everybody else uses. But I also saw this one. This is the Q Fit Make Your Own Wig Cap. And it's a mesh dome style wig. <laughs> this is a mesh dome style wig cap. And this is what it looks like. They also have one for U parts, and I think it was another one. I don't know, but I was like, no, I don't feel like dealing with that. Might as well just get something simple like this. So basically, this is what it looks like up close. So you can just see what it looks like. I don't want to open it right now. Um, it says it's a dome style, perfect fit, lightweight. Tight band, hair can breathe, dry fast after washing, washing, easy and affordable way to make your own wig. And yeah, that's what I bought. I didn't buy any wig clips because once I finish this wig, I plan on my, just getting my hair braided and sewing the hair, sewing the wig around my braids on the perimeter. And I will leave some hair out on the sides as well as a little bit of my edges out i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave hair out on the back just because i'm not sure if i really want to pull the hair up into a ponytail as far as yet but um i don't know i mean it's convenient but at the same time i'm not really even a pro at this so i don't know if i should just do that for my first three um if i do good at this wig i will be making another wig but anyways let me just get out of here because i am really tired so 